This episode is brought to you by our sponsor, Phantom Boxing, a brand new company starting in late 2019. They sent us a great discount code for awesome subscribers. Go to phantomboxing.co.uk if you want to try any of their six styles of boxing gloves, headgear, groin guards, hand wraps, or their Cobra reflex bag. And when you go to the checkout and enter the code COMBATCORP10 to save 10% off any and all purchases. That's COMBATCORP10 for any and all purchases. Thanks again to Phantom Boxing and enjoy the show. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Combat Corporation, your source of combat sports. I'm your host, Al, the Postmatch Tomorrow, and today I have a gear review on the Fairtex BGV-1 Universal Training Gloves. All right, folks, as always, I'm incredibly excited to bring you another gear review as today I have one of the most well-used pairs of gloves in the entire world, in my opinion. We have the Fairtex BGV-1 Universal Training Gloves. And as always, I tell you what model I have. I have the 16-ounce model with the yellow colorway. Uh, for me, Fairtex and yellow just goes together perfectly. I don't know why. I will never get another pair of Fairtex unless they have a different design in any other color than yellow. To me, it just works perfectly. The shade of yellow that this is is actually insane. I don't know why I didn't make a big point out of that. But hey, Fairtex and Fairtex Yellow was awesome. Uh, but Fairtex is one of the biggest combat sport brands in the world, and by far, in my opinion anyway, the number one leading Muay Thai brand in the entire world, and they also supply a lot of MMA equipment uh, throughout the world as well. Uh, when you think about Fairtex, you think about some of the greatest fighters in 1FC or in Asia right now, you think about Stamp Fairtex, uh, Yatsen Klai Fairtex, and of course, Semipetch. Uh, Fairtex and the the last name of Fairtex is not because they come from Fairtex <laughs> the company it means that in Thailand when you train at a gym it is tradition for you to take the last name of the gym that you train at so those guys have the last name of Fairtex now and they use this equipment as well as Fairtex outfitting people like uh, you know WEC Elite XC back in the day Strike Force and they of course uh, make everything by 1FC nowadays. So if you see any MMA gloves or Muay Thai gloves, kickboxing gloves in general, through the W, uh, not WEC, the 1FC, Fairtex outfits them. Now Fairtex is, once again, in my opinion, the biggest Muay Thai brand, uh, or one of the biggest combat sport brands in general, and they are especially huge in Thailand and in Asia. But you see a lot of people in the States especially use these gloves. You see a lot of people use different colorways with these gloves, and they also have an open mesh palm version uh, I think they just call it the breathe version or the breathable version uh, so it's a very well used pair of gloves I see a lot of people use these in boxing gyms Muay Thai clubs uh, whether it be MMA places they're an overall great glove and they are for sure the complete staple in my opinion not just for Fairtex but for Muay Thai in general the BGV1 has been a staple for a very very long time as BGV1 and I'm pretty sure stands for boxing glove version 1 so this is Fairtex's uh, you know baby basically this is what they started with uh, Fairtex started in 1958 by Dr. not Dr. Mr. Philip Wong and basically if you read a couple interviews or look at a couple articles he started it and he was losing a lot of money off Fairtex but he loved the sport of Muay Thai so he was doing a lot of stuff with that and it wasn't until the 70s where he opened the Fairtex training center and actually started producing things like gloves instead of just uh, apparel and stuff and people started flocking to his gym because he had great coaches great staff and he had the best equipment and that's a cool thing about Fairtex before anything is released by Fairtex, they bring it to the pros within the Fairtex gym. They test it out, tell them what they want or what they want to change, and then they mass produce them. Uh, they are based out of, I believe, Pattaya now uh, is where their uh, factory is, but they started out in Bangkok, and I would like to say they uh, they have a gym in Bang Lee. I want to say it's called. I hope I'm not pronouncing that wrong. But Fairtex is one of the biggest companies in the world because of their quality assurance and because of the durability of their product and because everyone trusts these gloves. You know, I mentioned all the Fairtex guys that fight in 1FC, but you also see a bunch of guys, you know, like Glover Teixeira actually use these and a lot of other guys down from Brazil like uh, Vanderlei Silva's use these, Shogun Hua's use these, uh, Anderson Silva's use these, a bunch of people use the Fairtex brand and for good reason. Uh, once again, these are like the staple of the Muay Thai world, and we're going to go into the look of the glove first. Of course, once again, I picked out the yellow color here. 
It just works well with Fairtex, and you get that iconic Fairtex logo. It just uh, looks new, it looks retro, it's awesome, I love it. Uh, it's all in black lettering with the white outline, and then it says, handmade in Thailand of genuine leather. Down here, you got a stamp right in the center of the glove, so that tells you exactly what it's made out of, and it has that nice yellow finish throughout the entirety of the glove. So in some ways, it's basic, but also that yellow color pops out. Everything that Fairtex makes, actually, if you got them in red, blue, whatever it is, the color really pops out on the leather, and it looks really nice. So you got that nice yellow shine all the way on the thumb, on the punch surface, on the back, until you get down to the wrist cuff where you have the multicolored, uh, you know, the red and blue Fairtex logo here. And uh, it doesn't say established when or anything, but then you also have a 16 ounce stamp right there at the bottom. Uh, and then if you open it up, of course the Velcro is black as usual. But uh, the rest of the glove has white stitching all, through a, all throughout the palm of the glove and on the thumb as well. And then you also have the uh, center holes there for breathability. But that's more of the construction of the glove, which starting out with the construction, it is all cowhide leather on the outside shell of the glove here. And that's the perfect part to this glove is it's kind of like to me, Fairtex is like the Reyes of the Muay Thai world. They are made awesome, and they are definitely, these are more of a puncher's glove too, uh, you know, because of the padding that you get on the inside. But these are such a nice, you know, top grain cowhide leather on the outside here, and it's very durable. It has a nice thick layer of leather over the top here. I can pinch like half an inch off there. So it's a very good durable leather. Uh, and it's very soft actually it's a very soft and supple leather as well so you got that it's really durable it's not going to rip on you and it's actually very easy to clean as well now they use a three layered mold uh, foam method and it doesn't say specifically what what types of uh, foam they are but you can definitely feel that it's like denser in the center so when you push in, you can definitely feel something like latex on top of some other high density foams. And it is a bit of a thin layer of padding. As you can see, there's not a whole lot to it. Uh, and it is a very small glove. I mean, compared to my hand just holding up to it like this, it is pretty much a small glove. The whole back of my hand can palm it. Uh, but it's a very much a puncher's glove and it has that reflective feel to it. But the three layers, if I had to guess, were like a multi-layer of foam starting out with like a high density foam at the top with a latex foam in the middle and then a, a higher um, density firmer foam at the bottom because you can definitely feel when you push in there's that nice firm hardcore feel to it uh, but at the same time when you punch in it kind of smushes perfectly and pops right back out at you and it's actually pretty soft when you make impact but you can definitely feel it you know punch right through uh, the other thing with these gloves is because of how small they are uh, when you put it on you can definitely feel the padding go right through because of all that soft padding all the soft leather on the outside but you can also notice uh, like most tie gloves this is where you get the feel from is how the thumb is placed compared to a western boxing glove the fingers hang down very low compared to some boxing gloves because you want the boxing gloves to come here and just open like that to parry these will open up wide like this so you can grab clinch knee sweep whatever it might be with these gloves right that's normally what you're going to get with these gloves here is uh most muay thai gloves have that big thumb on the outside the thumb is very fat and very wide once again it's on the side so you can grab a lot easier and the palm is very padded as well. Uh, you know, dead center of the palm, there is no padding, and there really isn't a grip bar, actually, which is the really interesting thing. Most gloves nowadays have grip bars, but the Fairtex BGV1 has no grip bar. So that's a really interesting fact. And then on top of it, they have a really nice uh, piece of uh, high density foam here padding. It feels more like a gel almost, but it's not. Uh, it's a very soft, it feels like a memory foamish gel mattress type feel right here at the bottom. It's very soft and that's good so when you're drilling, you can catch, uh, you know, right on the palm and it's not going to hurt you as much. But the other thing is you notice is that I wouldn't even say it's top heavy, but most Muay Thai gloves have a very small wrist cuff and a very small uh, wrist strap, which isn't the best for wrist support right off the bat. Uh, you know, it's very, very small and it's very snug on the wrist. But before I put it on, you can see here, you know, between the black piping here, you have a black leather bottom to it, like most Muay Thai gloves do. Right here, it's all black leather. And then once you go back in, it's your standard polyester nylon, uh, you know, very baggy type of feeling on the inside. Uh, the thing is with Fairtex, is compared to most other Thai brands, they actually do have a pretty wide uh, hand compartment. Now, it's not huge 
but it definitely has enough room for you to wrap your hands up a good amount. I have never tried gauze or tape with these or a big wrap uh, because I never figured there'd be enough room, especially for my hands because I have reasonably sized palms and stuff. But in the knuckle area, there's more like padding room, like to put more room this way than there is this way, which is interesting. But you know, you got enough wiggle room in here to be pretty good. And once you put your fingers up here, you can actually feel that denser uh, foam. If you can see my fingers here pushing through towards the top, that denser foam all the way throughout here. So you can definitely get that feeling there. Um, the wrist strap, like I said, is actually, it's pretty strong and it does give you decent wrist support uh, in that it stabilizes it. But the only thing is, is here, because in Muay Thai, you need to really clasp your wrist down to get a good grip because if you just grab like this and try and pull not so much but if i curve my wrist down that's exactly how it's going to work so you kind of need that action to happen here with this glove for that to work so your wrist is going to roll a little bit and if you have a sensitive wrist that might be dangerous for you so you might want to get a glove that has maybe a better wrist stabilization or when you wrap your hands when wearing these gloves maybe wrap your wrist a little bit more uh putting it up though it does stabilize it a little bit, but it does kind of bend back at the same time. If you really try, the padding is just so soft towards the bottom and the leather is so soft that it does crease back a little bit. So that might be, as far as wrist support goes, might be somewhat concerning for some people. But it's very comfortable. It's not too hot on the inside at all, and it opens very well. So if you like the catch and parry, and it has, of course, it's, a, it's like the original Muay Thai glove and for a lot of people, it has phenomenal grip and it has that authentic Thai feel. So it opens very easily, it's very easy to grab. If you're doing like big glove sparring for MMA as well, I would definitely recommend these uh, as far as um, you know these go. And the other thing that I will say though, is although you know the knuckle padding is not bad at all, especially you get a lot of support honestly on the thumb, which you have a ton of room on the thumb here. I mean, my thumb is resting dead in the center and there's this much room to wiggle around, but the thumb, actually only comes out a little bit. The only thing I will say is that your thumb does smash every now and again. You know, if you are if you have big hands like I do and your thumbs protrude a little bit, it will smash if you're not careful, but just make sure you're punching right and you eliminate that risk almost immediately. But you know, sometimes you throw a punch wrong or sometimes your partner moves on you and you smash your thumb off their forehead or you accidentally thumb them. It happens, it's the sport, you know, we're used to it. But at the end of the day, uh, the thumb position is weird, but it's a very comfortable thumb, right? It's very fat. It's all one big solid piece of foam here uh, connected. And, and that's that's the cool part about this. Uh, but going to the knuckle support, it gives you a really nice puncher's feel. You get an awesome feedback off this, and it honestly feels like it's a blade stabbing through butter, right? It's a hot knife going through butter. It's very much a small glove. So if you're looking for something to punch through someone's guard, I mean, the diameter of this compared to most other gloves, it's not a very fat surface. It's very flat though, not fat, it's flat. Um, so you get that puncher's feel and also your wrist is curved in that, uh, in that natural punch way in some ways. It kind of has you down, but it's almost unnatural because it's pushing you down too much. So make sure you're really tightening your fist when you use this. But the knuckle padding, it feels really comfortable for me and I love it. But if you have brittle hands with something like this, the padding's very thin at the front of the knuckles. So that's one thing. It's very supportive on the back of the hand. It's very supportive on the thumb. Not so much of the wrist and not so much of the knuckles, but let's go into the bag work so you can see these in use so you can get the idea of what I'm trying to tell you here as far as knuckle support goes and as far as the overall comfortability and how they feel. So I love hitting the bag with the BGB ones. For one, the grip is amazing. If they're gonna be the number one brand in Thailand and Muay Thai equipment in the world, they gotta have good grips and they just feel really sharp. Every time you hit the bag, it just feels like you're making the best possible contact you can make with anything. And I think the thin padding at the front is what helps, but it's not so thin that it's jarring my knuckles or anything. You can definitely feel that firm, like a hardcore foam in the center is really actually protecting and cradling your knuckles at the same time. But you also get that nice puncher's recoil. Overall, they feel nice and sharp. I think you're gonna love hitting the bag with each of you ones. All right, so you got that big Fairtex logo and it tells you right there they're made in Thailand and you got that nice looking bright yellow. Fairtex and yellow for me just goes with everything, but Fairtex's leather makes it just look so shiny and professional. So if you see these in the gym, I think you're actually going to like how basic but great they look, especially if you're using them. I really think your teammates 
and you are going to love getting hit by these. All right, final verdict on the Fairtex BGV-1 Universal Training Gloves is they are for sure the gold standard for a reason. They are not a bad glove at all. But the only thing I will say is they are for sure not for everybody. You know, I see a lot of people that start out in Muay Thai immediately go to these or MMA go to these and then they realize, man, I don't like these, especially a lot of heavyweights that tend to use these. And that's a, that's the danger you get with some Thai made gloves. And it's not, it's not like a stereotype thing or anything. It's just most Thai people are smaller than people in the States. You know, I, I've met a few Thai people uh, in this or people from Myanmar or Burma or whatever you'd like to call it. Um, and they're very small people. I have not, not really met a lot of big people over there. So they have smaller hand compartments. They have smaller equipment in general. So you want the biggest one you can get in 16 ounce. They do have them in 18, but 16 ounce does fit my hands pretty well. But I do notice sometimes I do feel cramped if I, if I wrap my hands up, uh, you know, a good amount. So you don't want to put like a knuckle guard or anything on the inside of this unless you get a really big glove. And on top of it, if you really like the tight compact fit, they actually have a tight fit model that you can get of this, which for me is kind of pointless because I wouldn't be able to wear it. It'd be horrible. But if you're one of the people that like to go into training and not wear hand wraps, I mean, this glove might be for you. It's very good for uh, Muay Thai settings, but of course, like I said, it's actually, I use it most, not just for kickboxing, I use it for big glove MMA sparring because of how good and small it is. It's not big enough to where it's gonna block every single shot that I have. Uh, like I said, it's not a very big glove at all. It can reach through and around really easy. And you know, my head is actually, I feel like a little bit bigger than the glove itself. Uh, but it's perfect for that, that it keeps me on my toes. It's very good for grips. It's very good for takedowns. Uh, you know, the weird thing about it, uh, I guess, is that there's no grip bar, but for a tie glove, I don't see why there would be. That would kind of be in the way if you're trying to grip something. Um, the palm is very well open, and I do like that piece of padding here, and I was surprised at how much of a difference that actually made when it comes to catching kicks. It does help, and it actually does catch in the right spot. Uh, but moving on to, like, the wrist support. It's not great, right? And that's the thing that a lot of people I notice break before they break their knuckles is actually the wrist because the wrist is where all the impact at the end of the day is going towards the bottom. And if you start out the sport with a pair of gloves like this that does not have good wrist support, it might deter some people because they're gonna keep drawing the wrist. I mean, just for an example, like I said, if I strap this up here and I just let my hand relax, it like drops my wrist down and it can fold really easy and it folds back pretty easy too. So if I hit this way, it will jar me back, but thank God there's so much padding on the back of the hand that it's gonna help it from going back, but going down, there's nothing. There's nothing keeping my wrist from snapping downwards, right? And that's the bad part about these gloves is that the wrist support is very poor, in my opinion. It's a very small wrist cuff, very small wrist in general, and it goes right over over top of my wrist. It's basically like you're putting on a pair of oven mitts, right? A uh, very padded pair of oven mitts, but it's not like most boxing gloves that go slightly down farther here. They're right on top of my wrist. In fact, the, the wrist cuff and, and the strap actually ends right below my wrist. So it's a very, very small glove. So if you're a bigger guy, it might not be your thing. And if you have long arms or if you have long wrists or bad wrists, I would for sure avoid these gloves because they're not gonna be the best for your wrist. Now, obviously, Fairtex has a thousand different models and some of them are just like this glove, the BGV-1, only they have a bit of a longer wrist or they have uh, you know, those cool designs where they have the wrist strap uh, like arc down towards the back. That way it stabilizes it from going up and down, which is a good design. But in general, the BGV-1 for sure, for me, does not have the best wrist support. The padding, like I said, is at a very flat curve and it is, it's a weird feeling in some ways, but it's very unique to Fairtex in that it has that puncher's feel, it recoils off very well, and it really feels like you're making a sharp impact on every single shot that you throw. I mean a sharp, sharp impact. You know you're making contact, and I tell you what, from getting hit from these, you know you're getting hit from these as well. It makes very sharp contact. There is not a lot of padding here, right, compared to a lot of it. It is very thin in the front. It's more of a fat padding in the thumb, which is a very comfortable thumb, and more fat padding in the back of the hand. So I've never had an issue with my thumb or the back of the hand compared to the knuckles. I have durable hands, so I don't often get pain in my knuckles, more of my wrist, which I have jarred my wrist a bunch of times in gloves like these. But uh, if you have brittle hands, especially of how small they are, 
I would consider looking for another pair of BGV something from Fairtex, but these are for sure for people that like a small glove that is gonna punch through someone's guard every day. I mean, like I said, for MMA big glove sparring, I, I don't recommend a whole lot of other gloves compared to these because once again, they are smaller, kind of like the contour of an MMA glove of how small they can be. If it was a little bit thinner, you'd be right there. Uh, but that's the thing about them is that they're a very, very small glove. They're meant for everything. You know, you can hit the bag with these. I love hitting the bags and mitts with these. They have such a unique crack and sound off them. Um, you know, and that's a really big plus to these gloves is that you can use them. But for sparring, heavy sparring, yeah, you can use them for them. But I would use them more for MMA big glove sparring than I would boxing or something like that. I think in boxing, you definitely hurt your hands. Muay Thai, obviously, this is what they were designed for, is for Muay Thai kickboxing, and that's probably what I would recommend you use them for in general. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think they're a very good glove. I don't think they're for everybody. Between the wrist support being pretty weak, and the knuckle support not being the best for people that have brittle hands, you know, Fairtex has a thousand different models to choose from. These are more of a puncher's glove compared to a pillow glove for sure. Uh, and they are not the best if you're if you're a guy that likes to shell up all the time. It's a very small glove, so they'll reach around your head pretty easy. They'll reach right through. I mean, if you see this, even if I turn them out, there's a big gap right in between my face here so it's not going to be good if i'm trying to really just shell up the whole time uh this is definitely more for an offensive puncher uh some guy that really likes to land big shots uh too actually because of how sharp the punches uh feel you know you get a nice realistic feel off of any shot with these gloves uh so if i had to give them an overall rating uh you know plus the price they go for anywhere from 60 to 100 dollars depending on the colorway that you get these were actually 70 i got them off amazon you can get them from amazon you can get them from super rare you can get them from msm uh and then of course you can go to fairtex's website and get them directly from the factory themselves in thailand uh but either way everything normally ships from thailand to begin with unless they have them in stock in the states which most gloves like this which is once again the staple of fairtex uh, you know normally you get them for about 70 or 80 bucks which is a really good price point i don't think the price point you could argue i think that's right on the money for the material and the and the padding that they use especially with the top grain leather that you get and the craftsmanship that you get fairtex you're investing in these these will last you a good four to five years if you really take care of them i've not seen fairtex just get wasted so fast uh you know i've i've seen uh fair tech gloves that look wiped out but that's because people don't take care of these gloves i've had these for four years uh three and a half four years and they're still going pretty well and i do use them uh i wouldn't say very very often but i do use them uh you know if i want to have some fun in the bag and really and really just you know go nuts uh so i'd have to give them a solid rating of seven out of ten just for the fact that they are a bit injury prone I wish they were a little bit bigger in the hand compartment for some people, but once again, they are more designed for people that have smaller hands, and I completely understand that. But in general, it's a great overall glove. Uh, you know, if you're looking to get into an experiment with a glove, I think this is a very good start. If you know you're a puncher and you like smaller gloves, definitely go into the Fairtex BGV1. You know, there's a reason why Fairtex has been around for a while. They are an awesome pair of gloves. I I would recommend them to most people. Just if you have bad wrists, I would avoid them like the plague. If you have uh, bad knuckles, you know, you can compromise. They kind of do a good job, but also I think the padding's a little bit too thin at the front. But for sure, I just think they're a bit more injury prone and they are very small uh, for the hand compartment and for the overall size of the glove. But other than that, I think they are a phenomenal pair of gloves and I think Fairtex obviously has their staple for a reason. They, they do a phenomenal job. But with that said, folks, I'm Al the Postmaster tomorrow. Thanks for watching the Combat Corporation, your source for combat sports. I hope that you like, comment, subscribe, and of course, I look forward to the comments, questions, concerns, whatever it might be in the comment section below. Can't wait to respond to you. I can't wait to see you on the next episode. Have a good day, everybody. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as it really goes a long way to help the channel out. As always, links to these gloves are in the description below, and if you have any questions or recommendations, hit me up in the comments or on the social media pages, and the links to those are also in the description below. Thanks again for choosing the Combat Corporation, your source of combat sports. I'll see you soon.